we will get to see all the custom app settings under the miscellaneous header. To start with the app settings, we have social media plugins like Facebook and Google so that the customers can log in with their Facebook account and Google email ID. Login settings like allow guest login will allow the customers to log in without any credentials or any email ID. They just need to log in and use the app. Verification via OTP it will enable OTP verification for the customers logging into the app uh, to make sure the credentials are correct and verification is done for the clients. Payment type we have enable credit. If we enable this toggle, uh, the customers can make payments uh, at the end of the ride using the credits available in their wallet. Promo feature we have already discussed in one of our videos and it will allow you to run promotion campaigns via customer app over to them. Referral features, it will help you to run referral campaigns on the customer app where customers can refer the app to other customers and get benefits of it. Referral combinations, here we have got random string, phone number, name combinations. These are specifically the combination used to create any referral code over the app which are further shared by the clients. Share message, we can type any message that we want to send to other customers for our referral campaigns. Facebook share message is the messages that we can share over Facebook as we have the sharing app over the customer app. Share image, we can keep any image that we want to for the referral campaign. Description is in detail what we need to talk about about the referral campaign we can. Subscription amount, it refers to the subscription amount which is to be paid by the customers while using the customer app or else you can just let it be so that customers can use the app for free. You can enable taxes which will run for the customer app at the end of the ride, the customers they need to pay. Next comes offering settings. General offering settings we have set up that is pickup and delivery. We can set the flow that we want to for the customer app, which is pickup and delivery, appointment and field workflow. Job type, we can select either pickup or delivery or both pickup and delivery. Task type template, we can either keep it as um, service type or we can also have it as task type. Pickup task template, we can select the templates that we already have created over token, which will be used during the pickup task. Similarly, we also have delivery task template. We can set this for the customers to fill in details. Post pickup and delivery means it will not proceed further without having both the pickup and delivery details. Allow multiple tasks will allow the customers to create multiple tasks at once. Task assignment, we can enable auto assignment as well so that all the orders, all the tasks that are created from customer app are automatically assigned to writers of token. Enable agent filtering via tags. It will enable filtering of tasks via agent tags that we give to our agents. So specific customers will be assigned to the agents having similar tags. Allow multiple agent tasks, which is we can allow this toggle so that the pickup task is assigned to one agent while delivery can be assigned to another agent. Geofence and tasks, we can enable this to run the geofence feature of the customer app. Uh, the tasks from one particular region will be assigned to the agents assigned or set for that particular region. Theme settings, we can select the icon app that we want. Um, for our apps, like we can select the image that we want to be shown for the app. Map theme, we can have either black or white. Theme color, we can set the theme for the customer app as for your choice. We can enable rating so that after the task gets over, the customers have the chance to rate the driver's performance. Cancellation configurations, 
we allow configurations for cancellations at many stages of the uh, flow, which is assigned, unassigned, started, accepted, in progress, and decline. You can set uh, for the stages that you want the riders or the customers to cancel the ride. Pass, fail, and cancel region. We can add regions over here. So the customers get to add the region while canceling or task. Pre-fill user data. This will automatically fill up the data once the customer logs into the app. The next time uh, he or she doesn't have to fill in again from the starting, it will automatically pick up the data already saved at the back end. Show service providers. We can show the service providers that we have. Like if we have multiple offerings, we can show all the offerings to the customers and they can proceed with any of them. Working hours availability, it will allow to set the working hours for the app which you want to run for your customers or else you can also set it for the entire day so that any point of the time the customers can create tasks. Call task as we can set the word that you want to denote the task as. Either we can set it a task or we can also set it as an order. It's, it's totally as per time configurations. Deleting offering. Finally, we have many offerings for the customer app. If you would like to delete any of the offering, you can just go here and you need to enter your password and submit so that the offering is deleted. Thank you so much.